I can't believe I almost ended that lecture without going over the grouper life cycle with you. It is one of my favorites. All right, so we're going to uh, start right here with this guy. Um, so the cool thing about groupers is that they usually start their lives as females. Um, and they, the adults live in the deep ocean. Um, what happens is with groupers and some other, several other species of fish, um, they are able to change from either male to female or female to male. In this case, it's female to male. They do this by um, essentially, if there are not enough males in the population, the largest females will spontaneously become males. Um, and this is all just based off of pheromones and, um, and turning on and off genes. This is not like they think like, oh, I would like to be a different sex today. They, it is literally all triggered by environmental cues, which is amazing. Um, so they actually, uh, their hormones change, their uh, reproductive parts change, and they serve the role in the uh, population as the male. So as they migrate to, uh, they have spawning aggregations um, that happens between, their, a, it could be a small group, a group of up to three, or a larger group of up to 25, significantly less than the tuna spawning group sizes. Um, but they uh, do something called broadcast spawning, which I've talked about before, but it's essentially the act of just letting eggs and sperm out into the water. This is an external fertilization method, and it allows the, um, they, they kind of get close together, they congregate near each other in order to, again, increase the likelihood of egg and sperm running into each other and fertilization happening. So the fertilized eggs once again float to the surface of the water. So fertilized eggs are in surface waters and they hatch within 24 hours there. Um, the larval stages remain in the surface waters where they grow and develop and they're brought, as they do that, uh, they are brought to the coast um, by ocean currents. So ocean currents push them eventually towards a coastline where the juveniles will exist in the mangrove areas and estuarian areas for up to five years. Um, the larval stages feed on plankton, whereas the juvenile stages are going to feed on uh, small crabs, shrimp, uh, small fish, that sort of thing. Um, once they uh, reach sexual maturity, they migrate uh, out to coral reefs. So the groupers that we find in estuary areas are not are considered juvenile uh, stage groupers. Groupers, uh, for anybody that goes fishing, knows that uh, the groupers that we get out in the deeper water are much larger. That's because those are our um, those are our big, fat, uh, sexually mature adults. Um, and notice the age range there. Grouper look like they live significantly longer than most of the other species that we've looked at. That's an interesting, um, just an interesting side note. Uh, I want you to think about their lifestyle uh, as far as like having a relatively low metabolism rate and um, using pump ventilation and ambush rather than uh, tuna that are actively swimming around. Um, so just an interesting Interesting side note there, you can notice the length of time it takes to reach uh, sexual maturity out here. Um, they, they spend five years as juveniles in the mangrove forest. So that is uh, a unique thing to take note of. 